And then we can go back and enter that great cave. Uh, which means we're also almost at the end of level 1 and 2. Uh, so you see levels aren't too long. They're well paced actually. I think the overall playtime for this game is about 12 hours. Um, not sure if that's correct or not. Oh, 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 that was a scripted scavenger, I think. Don't really have to worry about him though, since we can just go in the water and he'll, he'll not care about us anymore. Or well, he does care, but he'll just not follow us. I guess scavengers don't want to wash off their blood. Maybe make some less scary. Do gotta worry about this one though. This one will attack us and we do have to cross him. So best as we kill him right away. There we go. Yeah, indeed it is, Ren. This part actually I have found kind of difficult. You've got a bunch of traps here. There's a lot of save and retry. We gotta go through here. We did that. There's two potions right here. Alright, so this one, I'm gonna save again. We gotta jump and then crouch. Jump. Oh, 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 look at it. Okay. And the last one. Gotta wait for that one and then we can just oh yep yeah, that was let's try that again. Oh gotta stay crouched really. There we go. And now comes the most difficult part I believe. Um it's kind of like 50-50 chance. Yeah, and I've messed my 50-50 chance up, because you can't actually get over there without these things being there. Oh, I guess you can. I was lying. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. Usually I struggle a lot more. And here we are. This right there is Arok. The dragon that we have been looking for. Completely frozen, or rather petrified in stone. I do admire how it looks. I think it's epic looking, that stone dragon on that little cliff thing right there. It's really really well done. So we move down here and the next cutscene ensues. Has awakened me. <clears throat> I did. You may call me Rin. Inferior upstart? Where did you get that cursed stone? No need to get your scales in a twist. I'm not your enemy, you know. You see, Adamar sent me. He said something about the Order of the Flame. The Order? How presumptuous! What makes you think you're worthy? Why have you awakened me? <sighs> You see, my brother was captured in a war talk raid. What? You awakened me, Erok? By the dragon of Heron? Defeater of the Dark Union and Saber Hall Dragon? For that? Listen here, you wretched reptile! That's the life of my brother you're talking about! Hmm. Very well, Rin. I will listen. Yes, but will you help me, Erok? I do not help choice. You brought my soul crystal. If you choose to bond with me, it will be done. So what do we have to do to bond? Say, by fire and by blood I join with thee in the order of the flame. Once bound, we are as one. Whatever hurt I suffer, you will share. And if I die, your fate will be worse than death. By fire and by blood, I join with thee in the Order of the Flame. Let's get going. 
going. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is how to train your dragon before the books and movies. Now we have Arok, and we can fly with him, which is honestly the best part about this game. Arok, flying with Arok, and just everything about being with a dragon. It's so well executed. The flying animation is by far, even for today's standards, one of the best I've ever seen. You have different animations for what direction of flight you go to. Uh, if you go down, you'll actually glide. It's it's really, really well done and it's a lot of fun. It's uh, the main reason I've spent so much time playing this game as a child. I've always absolutely loved dragons, so... Having Arak as a dragon of my own was always like amazing to me. Um, so yeah, now we have Arak, we bound with him, which means when he gets hurt, I get hurt, and so on. We are one of the same, uh, you could say. Uh, and I can't just fly, I can also spy uh, fire. This attack right here is actually stupidly overpowered i can show you and he's dead uh, um almost everything dies within seconds if you use that attack um so you'll primarily see me do that um yeah there's also a bite attack we can also just leave Arok. Oh, that's on the cliff here there you go and actually I do gotta look up the controls really quick, because there is also another thing- Oh, is that what they meant with dragon action? Yeah, there you go. Um, if we get far away from Arok, um, and we do not want to walk back towards him, we can just call him and he'll fly towards us. Well, usually he'll fly towards us, I guess we're too close still. Welcome. Um, he'll also attack enemies in our range if we're not on his back, so he acts as his own, even without us controlling him. So I can show that off with this guy right here. Uh, I think he's hopelessly stuck there. Yeah, he does not move. Yeah, he's stuck. Uh, might as well show it off with another one. What's a health potion here, is there? No, there's not. All right, let's get him over here. Gonna land, there you go. There's a little secret entrance to a little cave right here. So yeah, this is also the second level now. We're no longer in the first level, since we do have Arok now. Arok, Arok. I'll call him Arok for most of the game, you will notice that. That just that's how I grew up, um, having him calling, ha uh, calling him Arok. So this stuff actually will play an important part later too. Those green little gem crystals. Oh, I went too close there. Yeah, this guy is strong. He took a lot of. A lot of HP on that X wasn't even worth it. It's only 12 hits away from breaking. Hey, Arok. Um, I can show off what I wanted to show over here. I'll just land Arok right here. Let me say, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Move a little bit back out of thank you. Uh, there's a little arc down here. I'll just kind of bait him towards coming to me. 
Don't tell me he's stuck too. God damn it. Why do all the orcs get stuck? I can just land out right in front of him though, I think he'll... Don't even have to land him, I can just move. Hey Arak, will you like would you like to show how you're attacking enemies for me? No? Well I guess he doesn't care right now. That's uh, really nice of you, Arab. I appreciate how much you're helping me. Um I won't give up though. There's some more orcs over here. There we go. So yeah, you can do that as well. So even if you get off him for short amounts of beards, usually he'll attack the orc so you don't have to worry about getting hurt. Which is really cool. I really like the way they design a rock and the things that he does and how he plays. So this is our next uh, quest spot right here. But before we do this, I would actually kind of like to grill this guy over here. And there's another one down there. Two actually. Oh, and there's... Little... The listas, I think you call them. I kind of missed most of it. Uh, they do have... Sometimes they have potions. It's orcs that are controlling them. So it's always worth looking over. To see. There's no potions for Kato. And there's more so we want to... Go back for now. And see if these guys down here have a potion. One of them has. Oh! Yeah, if you go too close to Arok, you will automatically mount. You can turn it off, but I don't really see why. It's really convenient. One more potion in here. And I'll actually go back to that house. That little cave we'll actually come to later, so we don't need that right now. I'll park out right outside and go in. Hey, did you ever hear a knocking? Sorry, I thought this place was deserted. I need some weapons and supplies. Got any? You won't find much around here. The war talks carted off everything and everyone. Near as I can tell, I'm the only one left. So why didn't they take you? As a lad, I apprenticed with the mage of Osa Oju. Oh, I'm no wizard, but I know enough magic to give the war talks a scare. How's that, dragon dame? Hmm. How did you know about the dragon, anyway? A sense and spell. It's how I know when the war talks are coming, and how I know you came here with a dragon. Well, good luck, old man. I've got to- Wait! You said you were looking for weapons. I know where a sword can be found. But you'll have to do a little chore for me first. Why am I not surprised? There's a mine back up the hill from here. I'd hide out there, but it's infested with spiders. Clean them out, and I'll tell you how to get the sword. Hmm, <laughs> pest control. You're starting to bug me, old man. Give me a challenge! Oh, I have. You'll see. <laughs> here, take this key. You'll need it. So this is our first site quest in the game. It's completely optional. Um, we don't need to do it. It does give us a nice weapon, especially for the start though. So we want to do it. And it's also nice to see a site quest like this play out. Um, I'm not even sure this might be the only site quest in the entire game. Uh, it's really story focused, so there is not too much. Um, I, I, this is really the only side quest I can think of. And as we go inside here, we can already see a bunch of spiders just waiting for us. Just 
died really quick, that's good. Blah, they're disgusting. It's dead. It's safe. The glowing eyes. Damn, if those spiders existed in my house, I would... I would never sleep. Just look at their front legs. You can see some spider webs right here. You can see a little log right here. We noticed from earlier. Again, good design showing us what we can do and then implementing it for later parts in the game. I'm really glad my weapon does enough damage to kill them in one hit, otherwise that'd be really tedious. Uh, down there we're actually getting our first bow. You kind of have to crouch down to hit them, they're too low to the ground for you to be able to hit them otherwise. That's okay though. Oh, okay, I don't think I'll have enough inventory space, so I'm gonna... Wait for these guys to approach and kill them first. Oh, there we go. I don't have any yeah, I figured. Okay, let's see. Oh god, there's another spider. Oh, that scared me. Oh, we don't have an armor. Armor is broke. Okay, now we have a bow. Bows just like swords have their durability, I think. Uh, I'm not sure, though, so I'll check. Yeah, it has durability too. Uh, so we can't use it forever. We will find more bows as time goes on, though. They are actually really useful, too. Um, oh, this is actually. The spider's nest. We can see the spider queen right here. More tiny spiders right there. I'm gonna wait for them to go down. One is dead. Next one is dead. We can see a tangled up orc up there and one warthog right here. Can't really do anything to us. He's gonna die soon. Consumed by the spiders. We can get a little bit of a closer look to that queen right here. Just kind of just sitting there. Ugh. I don't want to come close to a spider that big. Thankfully, and I'll roll those ex those don't exist. It's the last hit with this weapon. Oh, there's more. That's the hammer. We can use that. Hammers are really slow though, so I'm gonna go to that thing first. I do prefer the faster weapons over the slower weapons, even though the slower weapons, as in most games, do more damage. Um, it's not that not more noticeable in this game though. Also, never roll towards enemies because they will kill you, or attack you at least. Uh, we have a little window right here. We can kind of look down and see that big mother spider. Uh, we have a little catapult contraption right here. I think it should be very clear what this is for. I don't have any room. I have any room. Yeah, I know. No, you do. Uh, so. As you have noticed, armors are not being put on automatically once your existing one is broken, so you always gotta make sure you look if you're if you still have an armor on or not. Uh, and that was it with the big spider. She just despawned, I think. Yeah, she's dead. So now we gotta get out of here. Yeah, 
Yeah, these are a little bit stronger. There's nothing in there though, so it's kind of a waste, but it's okay. Okay, surf down here, and now we're back here where we were before. That little cave right here. So that was the first and I do believe only side quest in this game. It's Arag looking down at us right there. Oh, there's a barrel right there. I forgot about that. So I'm gonna tell the old man that we exterminated his spider problem. What do you know, lass? You did it. Don't act so surprised. Now where's that sword? Got a map we can use? What you're looking for is a ledge high up the mountainside. You're sending me after a rusty sword on some ledge? Nah, the ledge is where you use this. That's a rune of stone. Use it on the ledge and you'll find the sword quick enough. I marked the location of the ledge on your map. Thanks. But keep your eyes open for war talks with hostages. They may have my brother. Will do, lass. Good luck. And to you. I don't like this guy's accent. In German, he just kind of sounds like an old man. He, he sounds kind of Scottish. I like that. Um, Alright, so we actually have it marked on our map now. It's the little three rocks right on our path there. Uh, our map also serves as our to-do list, which I think is really nice. Just like in real life, maybe you would write down things on the piece of paper that you have. It's a little blood splatter too. So yeah, our quest right now is fight the Grimstone Mines. Uh, don't ask me... Don't ask me why exactly. Um, I guess she just knows. Oh no, I think the... The man told her. Uh, so yeah, this is our first dragon fight or hybrid dragon fight. They're not um, they're not being called actual dragons. They're called oh, what are they called again? Like crow dragons or something. I oh, do want to go down and look at them for a second because I do like how they look with their three eyes and just overall feathers on their wings. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I, I really do like the design of dragons and enemies in this game. It's very well done. I don't actually know. Can we go back inside the house? I think it's closed forever now. Oh no, we can go inside. Oh, man is just gone there. I guess he's hiding in the ruins up there in the mines. It should be interesting to see if we could go back in, and if you were there. I did never really try though. Alright, okay. 